Exploration Films. Check us out on the web at explorationfilms.com. Do you look at the animals and you can't have a partially functional liver or pancreas or lung. It either functions or it doesn't function. And I was taught in evolution, uh, if you don't use it, you lose it. All right, well, how do you use a partially formed pancreas? You either have to have the whole thing there with everything working or it doesn't work. Now, some people bring up, oh yes, but what about the appendix? We don't really need the appendix. Oh yes, we do. These things called vestigial organs that were, they're supposed to be leftovers from our ancestors. It was like 180 vestigial organs. We were told, oh, they have no function at all. Well, now they found functions for all of them. You have your appendix taken out. Oh, I don't need it. You see, God made a mistake. I don't need that appendix. Well, maybe not so much as an adult, but when you're a little baby, you need that appendix. It's part of your immune system. So we need all of our parts. Uh, God made them all. They all have to work in harmony with each other. H how do you get that with just mindless, random chance processes over how many, how many billions of years would you need? It's impossible. There, there, there would not be enough time, let alone the information needed to make those things work like they work. Check out this car. This is the Jaguar XJR. Oh, so sweet. A mere $82,000, but it is loaded. Supercharged, liquid intercooled V8 engine. She generates nearly 400 horsepower. That means she's fast. Faster than a Corvette. When you drive the XJR, the enhanced self-leveling air suspension system automatically lowers the car's ride height at higher speeds to enhance stability and aerodynamic efficiency, making for an amazing driving performance. Just one of the amazing features that makes this car one of the most impressive in the world. It's obvious that this car has been designed, each part created to work together perfectly, so I can travel from one point to the other in style. Wish it were mine. What a ride. No one would ever believe that a beautiful car like this happened by random chance or was a product of some cosmic accident. Why, that would be an insult to Jaguar's fine car designers. But somehow, when it comes to animals, nature, and you and me, some insist on believing that it was an evolutionary accident that created all we see around us. Sadly, even after all we've learned about these incredible creatures, Darwin's theory of evolution continues to be taught in our schools as scientific fact. But is the theory of evolution science? We put that question to Dr. Martin. What is true science? See, there's two different kinds of science, really. There's what's called operational science or operative science, and there's what's called forensic science. Now, operational science is what we can do in the lab. We can do it, and I can do it, and you can do it, and we'll mix the same things together. We'll come up with the same results if we do it right. But then you have forensic science, and that is really what macro Big Bang type evolutionary science is, because what are, what are we doing with that? Well, we have some clues. We have, we have some fossils. And what's a fossil? Well, it's a dead creature. Well, what does that tell us? Well, it doesn't really tell us anything except when you look with your worldview glasses and you're looking through your worldview and you've already decided, I think the universe is old. Well, then you're gonna interpret the information, whether it's a fossil or a living creature, that, that has to be old, that has to be a process here. So really it's a worldview uh, situation here with using forensic science, calling it science, because the textbooks do, but that's really not an accurate definition of true science because true science and most textbooks have the definition of true science in them. It's reproducible, experimentally verifiable type situations here, and you can't, nobody was there. How can you reproduce the Big Bang? You can't do that in a laboratory. Uh, what we can do in a laboratory is prove that explosions seem to tend to make things more chaotic, not more ordered. Uh, I don't know of any explosions that you can make things get better with an explosion, okay? So there's all these unexplainable things because we're basically looking at uh, calling something that's not really science. Actually, it's really speculative philosophy. When we're talking old universe Big Bang type things, that's really a, it's 
Metaphysical naturalism is another word for it, uh, but it's, it's an idea, and ideas have consequences. Exploration Films, where curious truths and uncommon minds meet.